Welcome to the instructional video for the 2013 CLPS Homework Survey. CLPS has guidelines about the amount of time students should be spending on homework. The homework survey is conducted over a two-week period of time where you record the amount of time your student spends on homework for each class and then reports it back to the CLPS, CLPS administration. Your feedback is vital for teachers and administrators to determine whether or not we are meeting our goals. Thank you so much for participating. I'm now going to quickly walk you through the homework survey process. In this email where you got this video link, there's also attached a record sheet for keeping track of homework time. You'll need to print or save digitally one form for each of your children that attend CLPS. For K through six, we ask that the parents fill out the form. Seven through twelve students can fill out the seven through twelve students can fill out the form on their own. Please be accurate. Um, we need you to track the time, the starting and ending time, and then round those totals to the nearest 15 minutes every day, and at the end of each week to total up the time it took for the whole week, and then round that to the nearest 30 minutes. The more responses we have, the more accurate our results. Some students really do take a lot longer to do homework than others. We need a full response from a class to be able to determine the average amount of time it takes students to complete homework. Plus, if your student is spending too little or too much time, we want to give teachers an opportunity to help you and support you at the home. Reading and studying counts. If you were assigned a chapter to read or a test to study for, the time it takes you to prepare for those, those assignments does count. So everything listed on the assignment sheet should go into your time. Class time doesn't count. So again, just the time you're spending at home working on homework is to go on the homework survey. And then please report fairly, don't estimate. Again, people tend to be really inaccurate when they do that, and so please keep track of the time every day. This is a copy of the record sheet. We've got a two week period of time. This is for week one and week two. We're starting our homework survey this Monday, September 30th. So your students will need to start tracking the time they spend every day in these boxes. Again, you can round to the nearest 15 minutes. So it should say 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, etc., all through these boxes. At the end of the week, so from a full Monday to Sunday or between um, assignment sheets being posted, you'll need to round those times at the end of the week to the nearest 30 minutes. So actually this box will be empty at the next week. Okay, so you have these for the four core classes and any electives you might have, and you'll get to report which electives those are on the actual survey. After the two weeks of recording your students' time spent on homework, you're gonna receive another email. This will have links in it to fill out the reporting form. K through six has a reporting form, and seven through 12 has a reporting form. You don't need to turn in a copy of your record sheet, it's just that you have an accurate record when you fill out the form. Fill out the survey as accurately as possible. Again, let me show you a copy of these forms. This is the K through six reporting form. You'll notice that these are starred, meaning that they required fields. You'll need to put your student's first and last name. We will not report the name of the student to the teacher, but they will see all of the comments that you make. So please be careful in reporting accurately, but keep in mind that the teachers will be reading what you say. Please put in the student's primary grade that they are in. We know that some students are attending classes above or below their grade level. We just need the primary age group that they're in. Then they'll choose from all these drop downs of the classes that they're in. So we have an English is the first one. You'll need to choose a response. You can choose a grade or choose not enrolled if you're not taking English with us. Then it's going to say it's required. Let's say we have a first grader. Then it'll ask you for the total time spent on English for week one. So you'll look at your homework sheet, sheet record sheet, look at the week total and then add that here. Then for week two, the reason we ask for this is sometimes if it's averaged together, we can't tell if one week was way heavier than the other. So you may have worked 30 minutes on one week and two hours the second week. That's a big gap and we want to see those gaps. Again, choose the grade that you're in, the amount of time spent for each class. I'm just guessing here and, and so forth and so on. When you get down here to the 2, 2 p.m. elective, you'll need to choose one of those or again say that you're not enrolled. If you're not enrolled, please leave this at zero minutes. It's totally fine. Zero minutes. A 3 p.m. elective, again, if you're not enrolled, leave those at zero minutes. There are some additional free responses we're asking. Are you satisfied with the homework load? Should the amount be increased or decreased for which classes, etc.? Please fill these out. You can write as much as you'd like. Again, we're reporting these to the teachers so they will see your responses. Just keep that in mind. But we do want you to be as honest as you can be on those. When you're finished, you're going to hit submit. If you didn't fill out anything, it's going to tell you where you need um, to fill out the form. When you're done, it'll submit it to us and we'll be able to compile those results. After the reporting period, again, the administration will compile the results and communi communicate those to all the stakeholders. 
We'll identify issues as a team and seek to resolve those issues. If the homework is too heavy, if the homework is not sufficient to prepare them for, the, for meeting the objectives, we'll discuss all of that and try to come up with happy solutions for everyone. If there are any changes with the way that your class is run or the way the homework is distributed, we'll communicate those clearly to you. And then keep up the communication. We know that this homework survey only records two weeks out of the whole school year, and sometimes this is not a typical week. We know that, and we talk to the teachers and parents about that. Make sure to mention that in your free response questions if you have concerns about the time period that we chose for the homework survey. And we'll be changing this time period every year, so hopefully next year you might get one in the spring or later on in the semester. If you have any questions or comments about this homework survey or about this video, please contact me, Amy Hay, at ahay at christianlifeprep.org. Thank you for participating.